Hey everyone, and welcome to CounterBuzz. I'm Greg Rosink, and I'm here today with Anthony Long, product manager for HydraWise here at Hunter Industries. Thanks for joining us again, Anthony. No, thanks, Greg. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you back. Today, we're going to talk about water management with HydraWise. So, tell us a little bit about how water management ties into HydraWise. Sure. So, uh, Hydra HydraWise is a water management tool. Um, it's used by lots of uh, uh, different organizations to manage water. It's particularly useful if you've got multiple sites. So uh, if you've got uh, different schools or different uh, parks, it's really handy for managing all those as one, all those sites as one big site. So. Okay, and who's using HydraWise as a water management tool? Yeah, so typically what we see is it's water boards, water districts, schools, um, large landscape maintenance companies, and also local government managing all the pocket parks and, and schools and things like that. So we see lots of different government entities and, and, and landscape management companies utilizing HydraWise purely as a water management tool. So, Okay, and what benefits have they found from using HydraWise in their businesses as a water management tool? So typically what we find is that the school districts and the, and the, the water uh, uh, districts, they're able to manage lots and lots of parks. Okay? What they also get is the benefit of being able to access those parks without necessarily needing to go to site, which means they can change uh, programs. If there's, a, for example, a party on on the weekend on that particular park, um, or a fair or a fate, they might be able to, they can change the irrigation without needing to go to site. Likewise, if there's a problem on the site, they don't have to go there, they'll be notified by HydraWise that there is an issue. So, wow, so obviously a lot of benefits to using it in your business with alerts, water management, getting actual readings from water use on the site. Um, how big can these systems get? How much can you grow your business with these? Mm -hmm. So you can go up to thousands of controllers. So with HydraWise, you know, for typically uh, you know, water districts and school districts, you can have the whole school district utilising HydraWise. Each principal, for example, and, and each local um, uh, manager of that area can see each individual controller, yet the whole school district can see all of the controllers. Likewise, for local government bodies, uh, you can have the, uh, each person who's actively managing each site having access, utilising their mobile phone. However, the total area manager can see all of those controllers uh, from his laptop. So that's a, a really big thing from a water management point of view. So size is not one of those things we need to worry about with HydroWise. We can scale up as much as we like. So, Okay, wonderful. And so our customers are probably wondering, you know, do you have success stories or any case studies, maybe some examples where water managers have really successfully done this? Yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll go through a couple. Um, so we've got a, uh, a school district uh, and that school district has been able to uh, take all of their previous controllers, which were they had a, a fair mix of different brands and, and models of controller. They've been able to change all of those controllers to HydraWise. Um, they've connected them all up to the system. And they found a couple of things. Firstly, the principal and the person who's mowing the lawns at those school districts, at those schools, can actually manage the irrigation and keep an eye on it. Make sure that the, the, the sprinklers don't come on that morning um, that they're going to mow. But also, Overall, the maintenance crew that's managing all of the irrigation systems also has access. And the manager of that um, school district, he also can see all of the things. And we've found a couple of key, real key things that stick out in that particular project. One is the irrigation program is being changed every day to suit um, the irrigation cycle and the local weather. And that's been able to save quite significant amounts of water. Um, also, all of the team players who have access to that site or use that site can all get their own reports coming in. So, you know, the, the person in charge of um, electrical, he can see the electrical alerts. The person in charge of sprinklers, he can see the water alerts based from the flow meter. So we've seen lots of benefits with that particular company. Uh, we've also uh, got a school, uh, sorry, a um, uh, local government in Australia. Um, that local government uh, is one of the largest local governments uh, in the world. Uh, they've just installed HydroWise and their first benefit the guy came back to us and said was, 
all my staff now have access and they understand how to program the system. And he said, we've never had that before. But at any point in time, any of my guys can go in and program the controller. And he saw that as a really big benefit for his guys because it took a whole lot of pressure off him. He no longer has to drive out to each site to change a program. Any of his team can actually access that and, and understand what's happening out on each local site. A huge benefit in this, obviously. Yeah. Now, for our customers, what kind of water savings are we seeing from this type of water management? Yeah, so typically um, across the board, HydroWise sees uh, about 53.5% of water savings. Um, that's uh, across more than 130 countries around the world. Um, uh, and all of our customers over the last three years. But typically in school districts, what we find is we can tend to get a little bit more. What we've found is that school districts um, and, and local government bodies just don't change their programs very often. So they tend to set their program for the start of the season and leave it operating until the end of the season. And so what HydroWise can do is say, hang on a minute, let's tailor that for the local weather that's happening. Let's understand that it did rain yesterday or it's forecast to rain. So we typically see slightly more water savings coming out of those government entities and those school districts just purely because they couldn't get around to change the clocks each day. And that's what HydroWise does. Fantastic. So if, if we wanted to get started with water management, what kind of equipment do we need on the site to help us manage water use and actually see what's going on? Yeah, so typically what we need is we need a hydrowise controller um, and it depends on the, on the station, uh, how many stations you've got, the station count. Um, that typically determines which model of controller we use and we've got a range. We go from, uh, from four station all the way through to 54 station. We do two, de two wire decoder system if you need it. Um, so if you do have an existing two wire or decoder system available, uh, we can actually look at that potentially utilising some of that infrastructure. We would have to change over the decoders and, uh, and a module but it's usual, usually very cost effective. Um, we also look at uh, putting an a flow meter in. It's really important with those um, school districts and with um, uh, government entities that we understand how much water we're using. Mm -hmm. And so a flow meter really helps on the, uh, if we can install a flow meter. Um, typically we like to install a rain sensor as well. A rain sensor is great because what it does is it tells us it's raining right now, just stop and it will stop the irrigation. So even if the rainfall wasn't predicted, um, we can still stop the irrigation if it does rain. And they're not very expensive to put up, but what it does is it really stops the phone calls coming into the government body or the school saying, hey, the sprinklers are running and it's raining. You know, it's a real easy way to fix that. Um, so there's not a lot of infrastructure. Typical site setup ranges from about $1,000 to $2,000 depending on how much work's required. So it's not a very expensive capital exercise to upgrade to hydrowise. Okay, and I know some states and county governments are starting to require things like a rain sensor to eliminate those phone calls, but eliminate the waste of water that could come from irrigating during a rain cycle. Yeah. So looking at local restrictions and things like that, it may guide you in that direction as uh, well. Absolutely. We also find that some of the, the water boards, or the water districts, are actually also offering rebates. So they're also offering uh, the ability to get some money back. Uh, oh, fantastic. From, from, uh, uh, from an upgrade to a hydro system. So. so there's possibility of getting some of that investment back for absolutely. your customer that you're managing the water for or yeah. vice versa. So, yeah, absolutely. Wow, fantastic. That's a lot of great information. Is there anything else you wanted to add before we sign off here? Yeah. No, I think that the main thing is um, visit hydrowise.com if you want to know more. Um, and uh, uh, if you really want to get on, hit the Try Now button and have a play. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, thanks for stopping by again, Anthony. It's always nice Thank to you. have you. And all of these links that we've talked about throughout the video will be in the comments or in the notes section below the video. So go ahead and click there to get started. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you on the next episode of CounterBuzz.